Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for August 6th of 2022. Well, it is titled Stereo Phobos. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the moons of Mars. And this is the one known as Phobos, which has the unusual grooves across the surface. And you can see those going diagonally uh, from upper left to lower right across the surface of this moon. Now, if it looks a little unusual, it has that red and blue color, which makes it a stereo image. And if you have red and blue 3D glasses, you can actually see this in 3D in three dimensions and get a better view of this moon. Now, these are relatively small moons. And in fact, this one at its largest dimension is 27 kilometers across. Now, that would be about 16 or 17 miles across. So very small, certainly compared to our own moon. And both of Mars's moons are relatively small and are likely asteroids that happen to wander close to Mars and become captured in its gravitational field. So our moon is believed to have formed by a different process, perhaps a massive collision early on in the history of our solar system, which can explain why Earth has the only very large moon in the inner solar system. Mars's, as I say, are two of the smaller moons that exist, and in fact are the only two other moons in the inner solar system beyond ours. Now the understanding what may have caused these grooves is not something we completely understand. One of the theories is they are related to the large crater on the left hand side. This is known as Stickney crater and is about 10 kilometers across 10 kilometers or a little more than six miles doesn't seem too gigantic compared to much larger craters that we see on our moon. However, this is a large fraction, more than a third of the size of the moon itself. And perhaps that large impact is what caused these grooves that run across the surface of this moon. Now, like most moons in the solar system, this moon is tidally locked to Mars. And what that means is that any moon, or just about any moon in the solar system, will always keep one side facing towards its planet and another side facing away. That is true for our own moon. We always see one side of our moon as we look at it from Earth. And if you were on Mars, you would always see this same side and never be able to see the other side. So interesting to think about with our own moon that it wasn't until the late 1950s when we first had satellites and spacecraft that traveled out beyond our moon and could look back and gave us our first view of our closest neighbor in space. So that was our picture of the day for August 6th of 2022. It was titled Stereo Phobos. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a galaxy and a grain of sand. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.